Hey everybody, Big Daddy Biggs here, ProductReviewDude.com, and this is Through the Bible in a Year with Big Daddy Biggs, and we are reviewing the Tree of Life version of the Bible this year. I appreciate you being here, and today is February the uh, 13th, and today's verses or scriptures are Numbers chapters 5 and 6. So without any further ado, let's get started. Purity in the Camp. Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Command Benai Yisrael to send out from the camp everyone with Za'aret who has some kind of discharge or any contaminated by a dead body, whether male or female, who are to send them outside the camp so, that, so, as, to, so as not to defile the camp where I am dwelling among them. This Benai Yisrael did, sending them outside the camp. Just as Adonai spoke to Moses, so Benai Yisrael did. Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Say to Benai Yisrael, Whenever a man or a woman commits, commits any sins against any person, thus breaking faith with Adonai, that soul bears guilt. That person is to confess the sin he has committed, make full restitution for his wrong, add one-fifth to it, and give it to the one he wronged. But if that person has no close relative to whom to pay the restitution, the restitution belongs to Adonai. It is to be given to the Kohen along with the ram of the atonement with which he is to make atonement for him. Every contribution from all the sacred things that Benai Yisrael brings to the Kohen will belong to him. Each one's sacred holy gifts are his own, but whatever each man gives to the Kohen belongs to that Kohen. Jealousy Ritual Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Benai Yisrael, and say to them, Suppose some man's wife goes astray and is unfaithful to him, and another man has sexual relations with her, but it is hidden from her husband's eyes, and her impurity is not detected. Yet there was no witness against her, and she was not caught in the act. Then a spirit of jealousy overcomes him, and he is suspicious of his wife when she is impure. Or a spirit of jealousy overcomes him, and he suspects his wife, yet she is not impure. Then he should take his wife to the Kohen. He must also bring a tenth of an ephah of barley as an offering for her. He is not to pour oil or put incense on it because it is an offering of jealousy, a reminder offering drawing attention to guiltness. guiltiness. The Kohen is to bring her near and have her stand before Adonai. Then the Kohen is to take some holy water in a clay jar and take some dust from the floor of the tabernacle and put it into the water. Then the Kohen will have the woman stand before Adonai Loosen the woman's hair, put it, put into her hands the reminder offering, the offering of jealousy, while in the Kohen's own hands are the bitter waters that bring a curse. Then the Kohen will have her swear under oath, then say to the woman, If no other man than your husband has slept with you, and if you have not gone astray into impurity from your husband, may this bitter water that brings a curse not harm you. If, however, you have gone astray from your husband and it became impure and had sexual relations with a man other than your husband, then the Kohen is to have the woman swear under oath of a curse, under this oath of a curse, and say to the woman, Then let Adonai cause you to be cursed and denounced among your people when Adonai causes your thigh to rot and your belly to swell. May this water, which brings a curse, enter your body and cause your belly to swell and your thigh to rot. The woman is to say, Amen, Amen. Then the Kohen is to write these curses on a scroll and wash them into the waters of bitterness. The Kohen will then have the woman drink the bitter water, bearing curses, so that the water of the curses of bitterness enters her. The Kohen is to take the jealousy offering from the woman's hand, wave the offering before Adonai, and bring it to the altar. The Kohen is to make a handful of grain offering and burn and burn it up in smoke, 
on the altar as a memorial offering. The Kohen will have will then have the woman drink the water. When she is made to drink the water that carries the curse, if she is defiled herself and been unfaithful to her husband, it will enter her and cause bitterness. Her abdomen will swell and her thigh will waste away. She will be cursed among other people. If, however, the woman has not defiled herself and is clean, she will be free from guilt and be able to have children. This is the Torah regarding jealousy. When a woman goes astray from her husband and defiles herself, or when a spirit of jealousy comes over a man and he jealously suspects his wife, the Kohen is to have her stand before Adonai and apply this entire Torah to her. The husband will be guilt, be free of guilt, but that woman will bear her guilt. Numbers chapter 6 Nazarite Vows Again Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Benai Yisrael, and say to them, Any man or woman who desires to vow a Nazarite vow to be separate for Adonai is to obtain from wine and any other fermented drink. He is not to drink any vinegar made from wine or any fermented drink to, or any grape juice or eat grapes or raisins. All during his days as a Nazarite he is not to eat anything from the grapevine, even the seeds or skins. All the duration of the Nazarite vow, no razor is to come to his head until the time of his consecration to Adonai is over. He is to be holy, and the hair of his head is to grow long. All the days of his separation to Adonai, he is, to not, he is not to go near a dead body. Even if his father, mother, brother, or sister should die, he is not to make himself unclean because his consecration to God is on his head. <clears throat> All the days of his separation he is to be consecrated to Adonai. Now if someone should die suddenly in his presence, thereby defiling his dedicated head, he is to shave his head on the day of his purification, the seventh day. Then on the eighth day he is to bring two doves or two young pigeons to the Kohen at the entrance of the tent of meeting. The Kohen is to offer one as a sin offering and the other as a burnt offering. He is to make atonement for him because he sinned through the corpse. He must consecrate his head on the same day. He will be dedicated to Adonai for the days of his Nazarite separation. He is to bring a year old male lamb as a guilt offering. The previous days will not count because he was contaminated during his Nazarite separation. Then, this is the Torah of the Nazarite, when this period of separation is over. He must be brought to the entrance of the tent of meeting. He is to present his offering to Adonai, a year-old male lamb without flaw, as a burnt offering, a, female, a year-old female lamb without flaw as a sin offering, a flawless ram as a fellowship offering, along with a basket of matzah cakes, made of fine flour mixed with oil and matzah, wafers spread with oil, along with their grain and drink offerings. The Kohen will offer these before Adonai and present his sin offering and burnt offering. Then he is to sacrifice the ram as a fellowship offering to Adonai, along with the basket of matzah. The Kohen will also present the grain and drink offerings. The Nazarite is then to shave his hair, sh is to shave the hair of his dedication at the entrance of the tent of meeting, and he is to take the hair of his dedication and put it on the fire of the fellowship offering sacrifice. The Kohen is to take the boiled shoulder of the ram and one matzah cake and one matzah wafer from the basket, and he is to place them into the hands of the Nazarite after he has shaved the hair of his dedication. The Kohen will have the will the, the Kohen will have them before Adonai will wave them before Adonai as a wave offering. They are holy and belong to the Kohen, along with the breast that was waved and the thigh that was presented. Afterward the Nazarite may drink the wine. 
This is the Torah regarding the Nazarite who vows his offering to Adonai with regard to his consecration. Besides whatever else he can afford, he must fulfill the vow he has made in accordance with the Torah of his consecration. Aaronic Benediction Again, Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and to his son, saying, Thus you are to bless Benai Yisrael by saying to them, Adonai bless you and keep you. Adonai make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Adonai turn his face toward you and grant you shalom. In this way, they are to place my name over Benai Yisrael, and so I will bless them. Y'all have a blessed day. God loves you and I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.